So I want to talk with my uh, leaders today, and the rest of you can listen. Uh, there is no way everybody is going to like us at the end of this. Now, you as a leader have to like them, okay? But they don't have to like uh, the choices that we're making. Oftentimes in life, people make choices we don't like. Right now, the government's telling us to do various things one day and maybe something different the next. So leaders, our job is to remain stable and calm. Our job is to care about our clients, which I know you all do. And our job is to uh, allow our our staff to have a little bit of an emotional flexibility during this time. Some people, we're going to see them as more charming than we've ever seen them before because that's how they're handling things. And other people are, frankly, who we've relied upon and can trust under the pressure and the anxiety of the moment are going to become something we never thought was possible and fairly unattractive. So. That's the way it's going to be, leaders. Not everybody is going to uh, like us, and we need to be able uh, to accept that. Now, another thing is that leaders, pe your people are going to be asking you numerous questions, uh, and some of those questions are going to seem to be repeated over and over again. And that's how we deal with anxiety, okay? Uh, you know, a lot of times our obsessions are trying to contain or get a hold of something that we're struggling with emotionally. We're trying to somehow have our cognitive aspects of ourselves rein in what's occurring emotionally. So when we see long lists of reactions or long lists of, of uh questions. Each one of those questions has some emotion attached to it. And you can answer that question, but if you don't deal with that emotion, the, the individual is not going to be satisfied. So what you have to do is respect the people that you work with, recognize that we all have questions, quiet your own questions by dealing with the emotions that cause you to react and respond differently than the great leader that you are, and then give other people space to be able to allow their emotional expression to be what it is. During times like this, everybody gets a little kooky. I remember at the end, during final exams, in every, uh, at the end of every college uh, semester, people would do more crazy things just as a result of the stress of all the studying that we had to do. And we have a lot of stress going on right now. So deal with the questions, but deal with the emotion behind it. In dealing with your questions, give you space to be able to look at your own emotional framework. Allow yourself to recognize, I am really, really anxious now. I'll tell you a secret. I, Roy, am really, really anxious now. And yet at the same time, as I look at that, there's a deep calmness based on what we've created before, our abilities to get through this, and the strength we have in each other. Take care. Have a great day. Remember, hang in there. Keep the faith. We will get through this together. <laughs>